Hey, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Naruto Konoha Legends. Today we're going to be doing a boss battle, uh, or at least a little one-on-one uh, -on -one that I proposed a few days ago. It's going to be uh, Kakashi versus Obito. Multiple forms of Kakashi versus multiple forms of Obito, one after the other. Let's see. And in order to keep it sort of uh, different, I'm going to try to pick the forms of Obito with different jutsu. So we'll start out with his kid form. And then we'll get the, uh, I think Masked Man is a bit different. And then Toby, since he's a total goofball. And uh, let's see his, his I'm Madara Uchiha form. Which, let's see. Now see, that's the difficult part. Because it leaves, oh I'm sorry, just, ugh. But um, that's the difficult part because it leaves out like his final two forms and that really bugs me so I might have to think of something else to do there but for now this should do so let's see we've got we got Toby and then Toby <laughs> Toby <laughs> I gotta get my cursor out of the way oh I, I picked random stage I didn't mean to pick random stage Hey, it's a perfect stage anyway. Round one, fight! Obito starts off strong with a fireball. It looks like Kakashi's gonna try to back him into a corner. The Sharingan comes out from Obito. In this form, it doesn't look like Kakashi has a uh, Sharingan yet, but he does have use of Chidori. Utilizing that Chidori effectively, Kakashi's got Obito pushed back into a corner. Summoning Jutsu! Obito pushes back, but still trapped in a uh, corner. Now he's been a guard broken, he can awaken now. A Fireball Jutsu pushes Kakashi back. And another attempt from, of Sharingan by Obito, but he pushes back hard. Fireball sends Kakashi flying. These two seem to be evenly matched, it could go either way. Kakashi's locked by the shutting gun. An armor broke is awakened. <laughs> awakened. More summoning jutsu from Kakashi. Obito hits back. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say Obito's got this one, even though he has left he less health. I believe in him. You can do it, underdog. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, no. It didn't work out for Obito in that one, but we've got another... I'm just gonna call him Obito. We've got Toby coming. No, he's masked man in that form. Let's see if he uses the chains. <laughs> and an elbow. <laughs> an elbow jab. And fireball. Kakashi pushes back. Masked man blocks. Fireballs. Looks like he's got Kakashi back into a corner now. 82 seconds remaining on the clock. Kakashi goes down. That's one form of Kakashi down to the masked man. So three forms of each character now. Now we have the Kakashi that faced the dreaded Zabuza. He's giving it all against the masked man with summoning jutsu. Fire style, earth style, mud wall. But the masked man is fighting back with everything he's got. Teleportation Jutsu's don't knock Kakashi's concentration off. He stays focused. It looks like the masked man was trying to use his Sharingan to push Kakashi into a corner, but he's not having any of it. Fire style and Earth style combined make Kakashi a deadly foe. Now then, Sharingan says the masked man. Armor break on Kakashi, and Kakashi is using his awakening. But will it prove effective against the masked man's barrage of fireball style attacks? There's the shutting on. An armor break on the masked man from Kakashi. Kakashi kicks back. Masked man was stuck in a corner. Will he awaken or will he choose to press the offensive? With 41 seconds remaining, it looks like Kakashi is using lightning blade against the masked man. The masked man is not deterred by this lightning blade. He's going for the awakening, but so is Kakashi. And Kakashi has fainted. Kakashi thought the masked man was going for awakening. He fell for the faint. And now a steam item on my wish list is on sale. Wonderful. Thank you for informing of that. <laughs> Me of that. Let's continue with the game. Good lord, that's a big fireball. 
And Kakashi misses with the shouting gun. Last man misses with the shouting gun. Kakashi gets him with the summoning jutsu. And a fireball hits him. Pushes him into a corner. Kakashi gets pushed back with the shouting gun again. Still stuck in that corner. This form of Kakashi is the Kakashi from Shippuden that helped Naruto against Daidara. <clears throat> with full use of his jutsu, Kakashi is a deadly foe in this form. But we'll see how well the masked man and Toby fa fare against Kakashi when he has use of the Mangikido Sharingan, and the Nine Tails is entered into the arena. <laughs> Basically, I, I wouldn't say it's poorly drawn. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It is amusing. It is amusing game after all. And the Mangikyo Sharingan is activated by the masked man, pushing Kakashi into a, a corner there. Kakashi's in big trouble. Now I believe, what the heck? Now I believe we're up against the final form. And the masked man has activated some sort of strange jutsu and gone completely in untouchable. It's his special Sharingan mode. His Mangikyo. He seems to be back in physical form now. Sharingan locks Kakashi down with a fireball jutsu. Because she's got Masked Man pushed into a corner now, this could be all she wrote for him. It should be, because if it's not, Kakashi's at a great disadvantage. He's got two opponents to defeat by himself in his final form. I'm not sure if this is the Kakashi with the... Is this the final form of Kakashi, or... Hmm. We've got the goofball Toby up against Kakashi. Let's see what he can do with his bomb jutsus. It is Kakashi with the Mangikyo Sharingan. But how does he fare against Toby and his strange fighting style? Seventy-one seconds left remaining on the clock, and it looks like Toby's gotten serious. Now, with his jutsu being much more powerful, Toby is ready to finish this. He doesn't want any more fooling around from Kakashi. No more joking or making a clown out of himself for Toby. No, he's ready to finish this fight now. But Kakashi's not going to let him take this victory home unopposed and shotting on on both characters at once. Everyone's frozen and Kakashi gets the fire style. Flame wave jutsu to the face, and that's the end of it. Oh, only eight minutes long? We gotta try one other. Well, I'll save the other more interesting matches for later, but as for now, the question as to who's tougher, Kakashi or Tobi, is yet to be answered, actually. Let me try one more thing. All these forms of Kakashi versus Obito and then his other forms that we didn't get to see. What about that? Yes, that'll wind up being perfect, because that makes it four even. Let's find out what happens now! Will Kakashi have an advantage against an opponent who is seemingly stronger? Who knows? Kakashi starts off strong. But Obito ain't gonna give up. The Chidori puts Obito back into a corner. The shutting on locks down Kakashi and a fire style jutsu. Both characters charging now. Who's gonna go for the awakening? Neither! Looks like it was a fake out by both characters. Wow, and that lightning damage deals a lot of hurt. Kakashi uses Chidori with abandon as Obito pushes back. Kakashi's not giving up without a fight, and it looks like he's about to take Obito out with one more hit, and there he goes! The expert Shinobi Kakashi is up against a deadly opponent now. Great War, Obito. 
or as he called himself in the series, Madara Uchiha at that form. A mask by any ma a mask by any name is still Obito. He pushes Kakashi back into a corner with some powerful fire style and wind fan jutsus. Now Sharingan has Kakashi locked down as he's caught into a tornado and blown to smithereens. 72 seconds remaining as we watch these characters go back and forth with the masked man now in awakening mode. Or at least he's in armor break mode and he can awaken if he so chooses. Without nearly enough chakra to do so, it looks like these two characters are going to finish this fight the old fashioned way. And Chidori sends the mat Toby crashing down. It looks like Kid Kakashi is actually faring quite well against his stronger opponents. But how will he fare now against the next to final form Obito? With almost all of his jutsus unlocked at this stage. A giant fireball! And shotting on unbelievable damage on Kakashi. The Poor, poor, the poor warrior didn't get to use his awakening or his ultimate jutsu, even though he had full chakra, but he's left a full bar of chakra for his next form, and it's used wisely as a water style sends Obito back into a corner, dealing a great amount of damage. Demon wind shurikens from the realm of the Sukuyomi send Kakashi reeling. But he's not giving up without a fight. With a primary lotus, he sends Obito to the ground. But the Ten Tails has come about to wreak its vengeance upon Kakashi and to literally deal half a bar. Kakashi awakens. Obito uses Mangikyo. Kakashi goes for Lightning Blade. And an excellent juggle by Kakashi into a fire style jutsu. But Obito is not giving up without a fight. These two characters seem evenly matched. But what will we see now? Obito sucked into the Mangikyo Sharingan. Ironically, that technique probably wouldn't even work on Obito because that's his realm that Kakashi's sucking him into. That sounds wrong. But here we are with the Ten Paths Obito. Well, actually, what is it uh, called in that form? He's got the uh, the Truth Spheres, Ten Tails. He's absorbed all the Tailed Beast in that form. He's like, oh, hey, Kakashi's done. Obito takes down Kakashi with a perfect, with absolutely no remorse. It seems as if he's going to try to finish this off and end this match as the victor all by himself. Literally having to defeat three opponents in a, in a row. Can he do it? With the Spheres of Truth and the Rod of whatever the heck that Rod is called, maybe the Rod of Destiny, it seems as if he's got the power to make this thing happen. But again, Kakashi proves to be no pushover. Attacking with what seems to be pure darkness, Obito controls this match, at least for the time being. But with Kakashi pushing back, it looks like these two characters are almost perfectly and evenly matched. But Kakashi takes the advantage with a water style jutsu. Planetary devastation is interrupted by lightning style and his own planetary devastation falls on him Kakashi proving the tougher of the two at least in that secondary round so that's one for Obito and one for Kakashi but who is actually the stronger of the two we we need to know let's see what happens if I switch around are there any more forms of Obito how about one two three four Hmm. I think that's about everything. Well, I believe Kakashi proved the stronger of the two. So, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you have any suggestions for future episodes or any other videos that you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.